Hello everyone, I am Siddharth and welcome to the third tutorial on simulation of electronic circuits. And today's topic is the triple phi timer. And so before we start constructing the circuit, let's take a look at the internal block diagram of the IC. Now there are two voltage comparators. Now the job of a voltage comparator is to simply compare two voltages and change its output to indicate which voltage is higher now the fixed voltage or the reference voltage that's always applied at the minus terminal and the voltage to be compared that's always applied at the plus terminal so if the voltage to be compared exceeds the fixed voltage then the output of the comparator will go high now you'll notice that there is this block here the RS flip flop now a flip-flop is a circuit with two outputs Q and its complement Q bar so at any point if Q is high Q bar will be low and if Q is low Q bar will be high now the flip-flop is controlled by two input pins S that stands for set and R that stands for reset so if set goes high the output Q will be high and if reset goes high the output Q will be low now what you gotta understand is the output of a flip-flop is stable what that means is if the flip-flop is set the output will be high and it will continue to remain high until you reset the flip-flop now let's study the pins on the IC now pin 8 is plus VCC that's the power supply for the IC pin 6 and pin 5 they are the input terminals for the threshold comparator and pin 5 but default is set to two third of the supply voltage and pin 5 is the reference voltage for this comparator so the moment any voltage applied at pin 6 exceeds pin um, two third of the supply voltage then this comparator goes high now if you leave this pin uh, pin 5 unconnected then it assumes a value of 2 third of supply but you can always change the value now pin 2 forms the reference voltage for the trigger comparator and the voltage at the plus terminal is fixed at 1 third of the supply so the moment any voltage applied at pin 2 falls below 1 third of the supply this comparator goes high pin 1 is ground, pin 4 is reset and it enables us to manually reset the flip-flop pin 3 is output and pin 7 is discharge now let's say this transistor is turned on this pin is as good as ground so it basically any uh, provides a path for an external capacitor to discharge to ground so that's pretty much it that's why is there inside a triple five timer so now let's construct our circuit open your simulation tool and type in five 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 select analog ICs and the first one over there next type in 1k we need a resistor select resistors next type in capacitor and that's it with just a resistor and a capacitor we're gonna make our first and most basic application the a stable multi vibrator so first to give it its power supply I'm gonna set this to 10 volts and ground pin 1 now let me add the resistors make this nice and neat so that it's easy to understand what's happening inside the circuit now 
now finally the capacitor and let's ground the capacitor as well and short pin 2 and pin 6 now you know that pin 4 is reset and in order to prevent the IC from resetting itself I'm gonna permanently set it to high and you can leave pin 5 unconnected and it will assume a value of two third of the supply now let's connect our oscilloscope across the output and see what kind of waveform we get Let's change this to one microfarad and run the circuit and we have a beautiful square wave so basically this circuit behaves as a pulse generator and let's study how this works now the capacitor charges via these two resistors R1 and R2 let me open the internal wire tanker yeah so the capacitor is connected over here now the moment the capacitor voltage exceeds two-third of the supply this comparator kicks off and the flip-flop is set high so the transistor is turned on and the capacitor starts to discharge to the ground now as the capacitor is discharging its voltage keeps reducing and the moment it falls below one third of the supply this comparator goes high and the flip-flop is reset so the output goes low and this transistor is switched off so the capacitor starts charging again towards two-third of the supply so that way the capacitor keeps charging to two-third of ECC and discharging to one-third of ECC and the output is just a square wave now that's it now let's make our circuit a little more interesting so type in interactive and resistor and this will give us a variable resistor that we can control in real time and just ground the other end now let's see what happens we run the circuit now let me increase the voltage at pin 5 now as I increase the voltage you can see the frequency reduces now this is because as I increase the voltage the capacitor takes a longer time to charge and thus the frequency decreases and as I reduce the voltage the frequency starts increasing so basically just by controlling the input voltage I'm able to change the frequency of oscillation so this forms a voltage controlled oscillator or a VCO and a direct application of this is pulse width modulation well that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and found it educational if you have any questions you can always mail me thank you for watching and see you in the next video i'll be adding more videos so you might want to subscribe to my channel